Hello everybody. In this lecture, I'll talk about ATM, MPLS, InServe, and DiffServe. First of all, Asynchronous Transfer Mode ATM. Under ATM, short and fixed size packets are carry information. Packets are short as it increases speed and minimizes minimize serialization delay. Packets have fixed size, so applications with fixed uh, large data units are segmented at sender and reassembled at receiver. While applications with smaller data units leads to waste, hence packetization of payload is done, which leads to delay also. ATM cells are 53-byte, 5-byte header, and 48-byte payload. ATM was designed to handle both traditional high-throughput data traffic as well as real-time low-latency content like voice and video. Here you can see ATM protocol stack. Data link layer is equivalent to an ATM layer and an ATM adaptation layer. While ATM layer also includes virtual circuits and paths etc. Separation of control and user planes expedites payload transfer for user. Management has an explicit plane also. But ATM was not successful as ATM to the desktop didn't happen. Instead of taking place of IP, it ended up as a switched link layer. Moreover, application didn't change to become QS aware on time. Use of ATM technology leads to the need for an ATM adaptation layer to segment and reassemble high layer packets to handle transmission errors or lost cell conditions and for timing and flow control. As you will see, there are different ATM adaptation layers mentioned. Some supports constant bitrate connection-oriented traffic, while some advocates variable bitrate of connection-oriented as well as connectionless traffic. ATM adaptation layer 5 was the dominant one as it was the simplified version of AAL 3x4. It required no cell capsulation. ATM networks are basically connection oriented. So virtual connections are established, which is of two types. Virtual path connections identified by VPI, virtual channel connections identified by combination of VPA and VCI. A virtual path is a bundle of virtual channels. The figure shows an example of switching based on VPA and VCI values because all VCIs and VPIs have only local significance across a particular link. These values get remapped as necessary at each switch. Next is multi-protocol label switching. MPLS is a type of data carrying technique for high performance networks. MPLS have short path labels rather than long network addresses as it can take pa packets of different protocols hence named multi protocol. Both MPLS and ATM are connection oriented services with hierarchy of labels but MPLS have variable packet length and its routing is based on established IP protocols instead of different and hard ATM protocols. MPLS has the feature of stacking label multiple times. Labels are pushed onto stack at source or ingress router and popped off at egress router. The diagram shows the popping and pushing of labels. This slide shows the general format of MPLS label stack entries. Label has 20 bits, 3 bits for feature use, 1 bit for last label in stack and 8 bit TTL, which is adjusted by switches and returned to IP at egress. Next, I'll be talking about the quality of service, diff serve versus int serve. RSVP Resource Reservation Protocol is a type of int serve. It offers two services, guaranteed which provides firm end-to-end -end delay bounds, control load services with no firm delay bounds but service shouldn't deteriorate as network load increases. RSVP uses soft state, path and RESV messages are periodically recent while ATM uses a hard state. Hard state is one which persists until it is released, while soft state persists only for a moderately short interval. Soft state is refreshed often. Soft state simplifies signaling, it's adaptive and robust, but only disadvantage is extra transmission to refresh the state. RSVP is designed to support group communications as it is receiver oriented, Refreshing of soft state reflects updates to group members and reservations are for session. Function of diff serve is to classify traffic into groups as it handles different traffic differently. Moreover, it is source oriented and it gets complicated with multicast. In the last slide, you can see the comparison between in serve and diff serve. 
that's it for this lecture thank you